Uh, this is Serenity Ledger's video for this 2016 Swift Contiki 669 um, that has recently arrived with us and is currently for sale. Uh, this motorhome has done under 10,000 miles, 9,600 I think it is, um, and is um, quite impressive with regard to its condition. Uh, obviously that is represented in the mileage. So um, <clears throat> this is the High Line, uh, so it's a full six berth. Um, and I'll just do a quick walk around on the outside of the motorhome just to see if I can find any markings. Um, but this only arrived yesterday and was clean yesterday. We've looked at it sort of quite thoroughly and uh, I can't find any markings on it, but we'll do a walk around anyway. Um, these are sitting on the Alco five ton chassis. Uh, so they've got big payload, lots of space. Um, you've got the big Fiamma awning on the side. Um, Fill it up with water there and waste pump, uh, waste distrib distribution is underneath. It's got a 12 volt water uh, filler pump as well, or the connection. Uh, two 13 kilogram bottles will go in there if you want them to. Uh, wheels are very nice. Cab, certainly no marks to the uh, windscreen, chips or anything. This side much the same. Um, your twin leisure batteries are in here. Uh, and these are GRP sides with a smart construction, so you don't generally tend to get any sort of pimple marks or dents on them because, um, you know, an awning pole or something like that tends to bounce off of this GRP. Uh, you've got the um, twin, you just see it there, twin lens, reversing camera, uh, provision for the bike rack. So Swift put these bars in so that you can just fit a bike rack straight to it if you want. Uh, and it's got obviously the rear ladder, which is lockable. Um, there's two big 150 watt solar panels up on the roof. Uh, this is a nice uh, compartment. I, I can do this with one hand. Give it a go. Oh, here we go. Okay, so this just pulls out and then just lifts up, and then that's like a tall storage cupboard there, which is quite good. Put that back into place. Um, it's the 180 brake horsepower, uh, 2.3 fit Cato, six speed manual. Um, as I said, they're quite impressive, the Contiki's. I think they're about 120,000 now for a new one of these. Um, right, internally. Oh. So, uh, let's just fire it up. Get some lights on and stuff in here. Um, standard features on the cab, uh, apart from the uh, re the uh, reversing camera, are um, standard features of what? Air conditioning, cruise control, multifunction steering wheel, all that stuff, Remis blinds all integrated uh, into the um, windscreens. Both these seats swivel, okay, both captain's chairs and both of those are in uh, spotless condition. The um, fabric is very nice again it's unmarked that centerpiece here comes out so that if you're traveling you've got two passengers traveling they can obviously they can get their feet on the floor uh, otherwise you've got a nice big sort of lounge area to stretch out in high gloss cabinetry throughout um, so it has got a uh, tracker built into the um, uh, sergeant control panel there, and it also has Aldi heating, the wet central heating system. It's just the best one. Um, televisions, optional. Just has a push-up aerial on these ones. Uh, your big bed up here, <clears throat> just pull down, and then uh, hence the high line. Okay, that mattress is nice. Pretty much unmarked and then just push it out of the way when you're not using it you can leave the bed made up of course um worktop space always get a lot of worktop space in uh, in contiki's which is good just pop back in there like so uh just that draining board will just go in underneath in the cupboard uh it's got an extractor fan full-size oven grill all this is nice hob That's a Daewoo microwave. 
only up until a few years ago. I thought they were only made cars, but apparently they don't. They make lots of other things as well. And uh, Micro's been one of them. Uh, and then the sort of the very popular layout of the, um, the fixed island rear bed. Um, it's a good bedroom. I mean, I'm six foot one. I can stand up in here um, without any issues. Duvelet mattress. And then that will lift up. And you've got some storage underneath there. Table housing, etc. More cupboard space. And the uh, entertainment system filters back into this bedroom as well. And then finally your bathroom here on the side. So you've got a flush, electric flush swivel toilet, your um, separate shower. That's just a shower mat with a uh, rain shower head. All the plastics are nice. Sink is unmarked. Yeah, bathroom is spotless. So externally, I can't find anything on it. Uh, um, I think I mentioned about the tyres, tyres are good. Uh, externally, I can't find any markings on it. And internally, um, <clears throat> much the same. These carpets were uh, rolled up. I don't think they've ever been down. So they're in excellent condition. Um, no markings to the worktops, no markings to the upholstery. Um, there's signs of, of usage, but it's very little. Uh, on the whole, for a 669 of 2016, um, it is um, pretty much unmarked. And this, this area here in the lounge, of course, makes up into a double as well, hence your um, the full six berth. Okay, I hope you find that helpful. Um, you can see the rest of the editorial and photographs um, for this motorhome uh, while currently still for sale on our website. That's at www.serenityleisure.co.uk. Thanks very much for watching.